hope for the best, and usually I'm disappointed, sadly. But. And we're only about two blocks down from Tokyo, uh, not Tokyo, Shinjuku Station. Yeah, and about three, three or four blocks away from our hotel. So, so lucky not us. so bad. Yeah, exactly. All right, wrap it up for now. Hey. I'm recording now. Hello, we are at um, Big Echo Karaoke Bar place. In Shinjuku. Um, in Shinjuku, you um, go down. Uh, well, you come in and you get a card that says what room you're in, and. Um, Wait, hold it up. We are in room 506. Yes, and it was kind of hard to say half an hour. Um, we had a large language barrier, but we eventually got through. Um, then we started singing, and half an hour went really quickly, so we went to get more time. We went to the bathroom first, and then the, uh, the dude was like trying to push us towards the uh, elevator, and like, I have to pee. <laughs> so, uh, I did the, the peep dance, and he, I guess that's universal. Um, so went to the bathroom, then went back downstairs and tried to explain one more hour. Uh, but we were having a forced time. Uh, Language problems. Too. But luckily a Japanese person who spoke English came in at the same time, and she explained one more hour to the dude. And then he just gave us our card back, and then we went back, and our room was clean, so we know that this is our room. So, uh... I, I think the easiest way would probably have been to just write yeah. one hour on paper and be like, I know, you know what I mean? I know, but like before when the guy had a notepad, I was like, can you use a notepad? He's like, no. I'm just like, notepad would help. I think I should carry my own notepad or something. I don't know. I feel like a big idiot. But you need one of those computers like we saw the other day. Remember that girl who had the, the machine she could type into and it said what she needed? Yeah, that was pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. Yeah, um, unfortunately we don't have that. Lame. So, uh, we'll try our best. So let's sing some songs, get rid of our sad, mopey phases, and then hopefully, you know, they also call you ten minutes before, um, it's time to leave. heads up. They don't tell you when it's time to leave, though. I think that is interesting. I think. Obviously. It's just like he didn't have a problem giving you more time either. Because this is like, eh, you want to stay? Give me more of your money. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, hopefully it will not be a giant check when we leave. I have a feeling it will be a giant check. Well, Kim said like $20. That's not so bad. No. But if you order food, it turns into a $50 bill. So That's what she said. So let's try and hold off on these delicious and very fancy We'll eat drinks. afterwards. Look at these drinks. They have all these fancy drinks and... On the back, too. Very nice. They really want me to stay here for a long time. And you have two books worth of songs. Yes, so we have Premium Dam version 2 and 3. Oh, is this version 1? No, this is volume 18. Where's version 1? Oh, well. Where, nice. Where's version 4 to 17? That's very true. Anyways, we'll see you later. Bye. Hello, we just been, uh, politefully escorted out of the karaoke because I guess we've overstayed our time so but that's okay we paid and then they were happy so that's good it wasn't too bad though like I'm, it's not like I'm saying it was very what am I trying to say here they were kind of pushy and I figured the longer you stay the more they get paid but um, I guess they kind of didn't want to risk foreigners so we paid our $12 and left, so we are outside this lantern festival now, I guess. I'm not really sure what it is, really. Uh, looks like maybe the JR line has is holding a... Uh, the JR line is holding a lantern festival. I'm not sure, and it smells like that molding holly stuff that makes... Ugh, it smells awful. Makes me gross and gaggy. Anyways, even though like they were kind of pushy, it was fun. Uh, me and Kenny singing away. Elvis and... Uh, Ubi stank and stuff. It was pretty fun. So, what do you think, Kenny? Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was good. So this day. So this day. All right, very good. I'll see you later. Hi everyone. We are at um, a Japanese restaurant. It's truly a Japanese restaurant because we're sitting on the floor on little cushions and uh, oh, there's, there's little paper walls holding us. Paper walls there. And what are these things holding? Tatami mats. We're on tatami mat. Mats. Mats. And we had to take off our shoes. Yeah, we had to take off our shoes. They were over there and we had to put away our umbrellas and stuff. And we're just sitting. I tried kneeling and it's very painful. So I just sat in my boat. Oh well. Which is what like, everyone's doing. Looks like everyone's doing it anyway. So um, we ordered some sake and some orange juice and some uh, seasonal vegetable tempura. 
and some ice cream and um, bean curd wrapped with stuff. So hopefully it'll be very good. How did we find our way here? Um, we asked a police box and he knew exactly where to direct us to. And that's, I heard that's what most police boxes are for. And obviously reporting crimes. But mostly they know the area better than everybody else does. So that's... And this is a tempura so restaurant. So I said, I said to him, I, excuse me, Sam, excuse me, and I said, tempura doko desu ka? Which literally means tempura, where is it? And <laughs> he very politely put, pulled out a map in. Okay. Hey, we just ate a really good tempura place, and it was um, one of those sit-downs where you take off your shoes, so it was really Hot fun. Hot maps. Yeah, and that's, I guess, the name of the restaurant, or... I can't read it. Maybe, not, maybe that's the name of the restaurant. Could be. I don't want to back up because as you can see it's pouring rain out here. Apparently a typhoon is coming in. Although, I never heard anything about it. I checked the weather forecast and it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, so ho! Oh. Did we see that? Yeah, Google is wrong again. Google. Damn Google. Check out this guy riding his bike with an umbrella. What? Pretty, that's that? against the law. Did you know that? No way. That's against the law, according to Kim. She said there's a chance that you could lose your umbrella and hit someone with it and that you could get arrested for riding a bike with an umbrella. That looks like some people just don't care. Mm, I'm filming you through a camera. That's insane. Oh, well. Ridiculous. Anyways, um, very good. We got, um, we didn't get the Zen or the uh, Dome uh, dinners. We got um, just kind of a la carte vegetable tempura and uh, gohan, which is rice and some miso soup that had special surprise at the bottom. They were like little mini mini clams. And yeah. So we what else did we get? We got deep fried ice cream. Oh yeah. And we got, we got ice cream and sake for me. And Kenny got orange juice. And... It was very delicious. Was very very good. good. We got also a fried egg yolk and uh, soybeans inside of a fried tofu. tofu. Yeah. And that was also covered in tempura. So it was pretty neat, and uh... Here's their address. 31... This is Shinjuku. This is the symbol for Shinjuku. I don't know what this means. And it's 31... Dash eight. Uh, Chome 31, house 8. <laughs> and also they had a bathroom. Which was, and a toilet bathroom. A toilet? Right, very Not a impressed. squatter. No, thank God. Um, so yeah. It was very good. Uh, A plus. A plus. Actually maybe A. No, no, eight. Eight plus. I burned my mouth on the on the hot tempura, but it was delicious. Later. Right, signing up. Okay, we've stumbled across a Japanese wedding at this shrine in Harajuku. This is the big shrine in Harajuku. I think this is the couple getting married over here. Mm. That's pretty cool. And Lydia has met an older man who has been talking to us for about... Who stumbled across real shrine maidens. They're there. Who just stood over there talking to that guy? Where is he? There. Anyways. Wedding is in there, and this is like the reception party or something. And there's a lot of men too. A lot. 